Welcome everyone to this edition of Credit Matters TV. Today, we have John Bilardello, Senior Managing Director and Chair of our North America Credit Conditions Committee. John will be speaking on uh, credit conditions in the region. Welcome, John. Thank you, Jalen. So what is our outlook for credit conditions in North America? Okay, so conditions are different between the United States and, and Canada. Slightly favorable in, in uh, the United States mm -hmm. and slightly less positive uh, in Canada. In the United States, the economic expansion continues. Uh, our economists are projecting 2% GDP growth uh, this year and roughly 3% mm -hmm. in 2014. But kind of breaking it down, there's positives and negatives. Uh, the uh, sequestration uh, right. cuts from uh, the federal government, they, they will continue. Uh, while we had anticipated that they would have a compromise uh, during the year to mitigate uh, some of the uh, some of the cuts that did not occur so that that continues and the impact on the defense industry and the healthcare industry is you can you can see that so you, uh, that will impact uh, you know s some of the ratings in, in, in those sectors uh, but on a more positive side the housing market uh, is uh, progressing uh, housing prices uh, are, are up from right. where they've been uh, and that will have its benefits uh, borrowing costs, while they have ri uh, risen, uh, they're still historically low, so that's, that's good for, uh, for credit conditions. Uh, overall, the business and financial conditions to, uh, for businesses has been fairly robust. Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen that in the financial reports, uh, but we expect them to be a little more volatile going, uh, going forward. In Canada, uh, slightly different, uh, stagnant Commodity prices have impacted the, the natural resources companies, so you see, you see that being impacted in, in, in the ratings. And um, also uh, impacting the consumer is the housing market. Housing prices have come down. That market is, uh, is also stagnating or, or weakening, mm -hmm. uh, so that's impacting the, the consumer, and I think that has a bigger impact on the economy in, in Canada. And you're seeing that in, in ratings also. Right. So that sounds uh, like a modestly favorable uh, view on credit conditions. What kind of risks uh, do we see out there? That's right. Uh, so uh, I'll break it down into global risks and maybe more North American risks. On the, on the global side, the, the areas that we're looking at really haven't changed much over the last uh, six months or right. so. Mm -hmm. The Eurozone clearly is uh, the biggest risk to the global economy. It's mm -hmm. still weak. The recession still continues, maybe even a little stronger than it had been. Mm -hmm. Uh, if that transpires into a, a, a longer or stronger recession, it will have global, global implications. China's the other area that we're, we continue to focus on in, in a, in a, in a little bit more. Uh, we had previously thought that China was settling into a, a growth pattern. It looks like that growth pattern is a little lower than we had anticipated. Mm -hmm. uh, as we all know, China has an impact on Southeast Asia, on Latin America, parts of Europe and the United States, as well as commodity prices. So we have to continue to watch uh, where China's growth pattern and how they're investing their money. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you know it's growing more on the consumer side, spending, and less on investment mm -hmm. in, in uh, infrastructure and cement. So we've got we've to pay attention to that. In the United States, uh, you know, fiscal policy is always something we have to pay attention to. Uh, and we're also watching the quantitative, uh, the exit from quantitative right. easing. Mm -hmm. We're not so concerned about how the exit, we think the Fed will manage that well, but it's the market reaction. Right. What will happen to interest rates? How will the market react uh, to a rise in interest rates? Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the things that, uh, that we have to watch. Um, related to that is, is housing. Mm -hmm. As earlier I said that uh, the housing market prices are getting better right. and that's supporting the economy probably too soon to think that it's a bubble, uh, but we do have to pay attention to the impact on, you know, the factors that drive home prices and which direction they're going. So mm -hmm. housing starts, uh, the supply uh, mm -hmm. of houses, mm -hmm. how people are purchasing uh, for rebuilds or, or, or uh, upgrades right. and things like that. Uh, and the thing to pay attention to is that shadow uh, housing out there, you know, the, the houses that were for sale that they couldn't sell years ago. Right. They pulled them off the market. Well, they're still yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. That will have an impact on the housing market. And so we're trying to pay attention to that. Mm. And given this, uh, this backdrop, how, would you, how do you think that would, uh, what, Im what are the implications for the different sectors and rating trends in general? Okay, very, uh, 
Sure, great question. Uh, again, it's, uh, it's twofold answers, positives and negatives. Uh, overall, we expect uh, ratings to be largely stable. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at our outlooks, you know, there's 70, 75 percent of our outlooks right. are stable. Uh, of the remaining 25 percent, again, I'm looking over a broad swath right. of companies. Uh, you know, there's 15 percent or so that's going to be negative and something less than 10 percent are, are positive. Uh, so it's largely stable. But, you know, if you, again, you look on the positive side, I mentioned the housing market right. again, that's really benefiting the home builders, mm -hmm. the REITs that we rate, the building materials right. companies. They're, you know, they're the ones that uh, are really benefiting from uh, uh, upgrades and, and, and new builds. Um, and, and, and all the other housing related sectors, maybe even on the structure finance side. Right. So, you know, th those, are, those, are, uh, those are the positives. Um, another positive, despite the default by the city of Detroit, uh, we do think that the uh, state and local governments are largely stable. Right. And they've always been largely stable, and we think they'll continue to be uh, largely stable, so despite, uh, uh, despite Detroit. On the negative side, uh, I mentioned the sequester cuts. Uh, and that does have an impact right. on uh, defense and, and health care uh, sectors. The I mentioned the slowing China. Uh, that clearly has an impact on the natural resources companies, and in particular the metals and mining companies. Uh, China is a huge purchaser of steel and copper and mm -hmm. many of the other uh, metals. Uh, you can see the impact on, on commodity prices, and it's impacting the commodities companies themselves. Uh, and I mentioned Canada. So. Uh, interest rates are low. Mm -hmm. uh, they, while they're higher than they were just a year ago, they're still right. low. Mm -hmm. uh, but low interest rates has an impact on the, on the financials, both the financial institutions and the insurance companies. So, uh, we, we you know we, let's we we know those those companies are still uh, trying to balance uh, the, uh, uh, the they're trying to balance right. the, the capital requirements mm -hmm. that the regulators have for them uh, with the need to drive profitability mm -hmm. and, and lend. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a tough balance for them right now. We have ma uh, many negative outlooks in the United States as well as uh, uh, across Europe. And if you look at any of the sectors and you look at the outlooks, uh, you look at our outlooks, it's the financials where we have more negative outlooks than anywhere else. Okay. So, you know, so breaking it down, those, those are the areas I think that uh, we should be paying attention to. And one last thing, gentlemen, I want to remind everybody that we've had a series of articles about the Credit Conditions Committee, and mm -hmm. not, not just in North America, but in Europe, Latin America, and Asia. And we have a special Credit Week magazine that went out uh, this week that uh, has all those articles mm -hmm. built into it. Thank you, John. Thank you, gentlemen. And thank you for joining us at Credit Matters TV.